Did you know that uBlock Origin doesn't only block ads, it can do so much more. And one of those things is to be able to block annoying, ultra annoying things in your page. So sometimes you go into a website, you see this annoying thing. Please accept fair cookies, please accept us to steal off your data, please accept to sell your soul to the devil. Uh, whatever, like, you know, whatever nonsense you get. Or like, oh yeah, please send up your newsletter. Uh, and all of this like annoying garbage that you just like don't care about uh, or don't want to see or don't want to think about. Well, you can get rid of all of that, actually. Like uBlock allows you to get rid of that. And here's how. So when you go onto the browser, you can actually go onto your extension and you can click on the settings icon here. It's on the bottom here. You can like go less and more. You can see more and less things. So maybe you'll like end up going and removing it, but then you just need to click the more button and it will show it. You go here and then there's different uh, filter pages like my filters. You can add some manual ones. You can go to settings. But the one we're interested in is filter lists. So here you have all of like your different filter lists. You have like here you have everything that shows you like how to do things, like what you want to block, and you can like adjust those. The one we're interested in is annoyances. So if you scroll down, we come to this place called annoyances. And here you can block a bunch of them. So you can block AdGuard's annoyances. So AdGuard, AdGuard, which is an ad blocker, a different one, has a list of annoyances that they can block. It's like a list of like different URLs that have those pop boxes in them. So you can like get those. Uh, you can get some from EasyList, which is another list. You can get them from a song called Fanboy. And also uBlock, so you can get uBlock's own ones. I had them all enabled. And if some of them cause, if any of them cause issues, you can remove that. But otherwise, all you have to do is you have to enable all of these. Um, so you know, just tick all of these, just tick every single one of them. Or a part of them that you want to. But like default, all of them are, I think, mostly good. And if you get issues, then just like untick any of them that are causing issues. Then you just click apply changes and then you can be applied and then you're done. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to, let's apply this. So now I just enable this, I can apply changes and then it will update it and everything is now blocked. So with that, goodbye.